What's going on guys? Colin here. Me and Uncle Dave are out walking the dog in a new spot. Alright guys, so this will be the last hike of 2016. And we're out here. The terrain over here that this dog has made for. Look how she blends in. Yeah, she's a hunting dog made for snowy weather. Guys, this is just a regular hike. Last hike of 2016. Hopefully there's going to be many to come in 2017. You forgot something. What do you got, Sparta? Hey, drop that! Oh, I think it's a bird. I think it was something that, like, a a bird dropped like a dead rabbit carcass. Hey, leave it. Leave it. Oh my god. Yeah, no, hunting it's... dog right here. That's disgusting. It's the innards of a deer. This is how it looks back here, guys. We've never been on this trail. Well, Uncle Dave says he has. And that's pretty cool. I think we should take that trail because it's the trail that's traveled. All right, we're taking this trail. Oh, so muddy. All right, guys, Uncle Dave wants to come down here for for his video project, but I'm not gonna tell you guys what that is. It's a surprise. <laughs> Look how old and ancient that tree looks. Check out all of these smaller trees. There's deer prints, and then there's a deer stand up on this tree. Let me see if I can get an angle on it. Right over here, up there. That's a pretty high deer stand. I don't know if you guys can see that over there. We found this crazy looking hollow tree. Someone carved their name on a tree right here. ZS initials or Z plus S, who knows. But in 2007. Yeah. Check out this monstrous tree, guys. Wow. There's this gigantic limb. <laughs> guys, so we're gonna stick the camera in this hole. We're using the selfie stick, like little add-on to the GoPro. Oh man, does that go up forever? What's this do right here? Huh? There's all kinds of holes. What's down there? We won't know until you look at this footage at home. It's probably a huge geocache or a polar bear. <laughs> look at that up there. That's like the biggest hole in a tree I've ever seen. Still standing. Other than yeah. Sequoia. Uh, notice that in person the dates you got 1989 right up there. 63. 63. Let me zoom in. What Just else you got? Look up to it. You got somebody who was here way up there. 63. All right, let's go, Sparta. Guys, look at this part the woods just kind of opens up on this part of the road and the trees are massive here so
so tall. Look guys, we were coming from down in there. We come off to this intersection. We could go that way, but I think that's just to a farm and to some houses. That way and this way. Um, a lot of them just lead to people's properties. So we're just trying to hike back in these woods. Guys, look back deeper into the woods. Back in there, it looks like a witch's forest with all those crazy looking trees with limbs going in every direction. Look how many grapevines there are. There's like one here and there's just so many. There's that whole bundle of them back in there scattered together just crippling the growth of all these trees. Here's a really cool deer stand. It's like a double. So I don't know if we could add two points to our deer stand list. All right, hiking in the woods, we just found this deer tent. Can't really see inside. Looks like the GoPro's picking it up a little bit. Just leaves. All right, we're gonna keep on walking. That was right next to the deer stand. Guys, back in there, you might be able to barely see it. That's a deer stand right in the middle of the screen. Here's another big tree. All its limbs have fallen off nearby. Look at the inside of this limb. It's completely hollow. It just fell off. Actually, that might be up the top up there. There's another cool looking area. Check this little stream out. I think there's ice over the top. Nope. But over here, this is like a 100% natural waterfall made by a log, fallen log, and backed up leaves. It looks really beautiful. Obviously it's not a big one, but it's so cool. All right guys, we have some kind of really old deer stand. There are pegs to get up here, and then there are like scar marks in the tree where pegs could have been to get higher up, where the plank could have been to sit down. All right guys, we have these two gigantic ones right here. We walk past them, and one of the biggest trees I've ever seen with my own eyes, uh, in real life, in person, It's absolutely massive. It's so tall. It goes so high up. And the base of the tree goes so far around. All right, guys, you can see that there are many stones and rocks right here. But what these are, are they're called field stones. And over time, a farmer will throw the stones he finds in his field like to the edge or the corner of his field. So this was all farmland. These are new trees, but along the edges, those gigantic trees like kind of mark the edges because they have been there for years and years. And this is right along the edge. Up ahead, this is what it looks like when man leaves a field alone like with nothing planted in it just to sit and grow whatever grows for about 12 years yep. so probably about 12 years ago farmers used this land and they just abandon it all right guys we're leaving the woods
Here's another look of everything before we head out. We're gonna walk right along this like abandoned field until we get back on the path near that like old thing, I forget what it was. And then we're going to walk back to the truck. All right, well guys, there isn't really much else to film. So I'm gonna end off the video here. I'm using a selfie stick, like GoPro attachment type thing. It's really handy for getting cool shots. Whoa, this is what I'm walking in. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, tell me what you thought about it and subscribe. So I'm gonna keep making these videos Tell me what you thought of the selfie stick, and I'll keep using this thing. Uh, I have a bunch of different uh, mounts to use, but I chose the selfie stick for today's video. Anyways, see you guys in the next video.